So, I was working on a painting in the last YouTube video, um, and I'm still working on it now, but now I'm gonna be working on the water. We worked on the trees before, now we're working on the water. So this is the painting in question. Um, this is what I was working on in the last video. We've completed this area here. I'm gonna start working on the water now, and I just wanna show you a few tips, really, about how I'm gonna do that. So I want this water to be, I want it to have some movement in it. I don't want crystal clear reflections. As you can see, there's already blocked in here an area of uh, sky reflection on those ripples. Um, you can't really see too much under the surface of the water, maybe a few rocks around this area, but I just want it to look like there's a lot of motion in there. So that's what we're gonna be working on in this lesson today. Okay, so I've done a little bit of work so far just in the water in the back here. What we're going to now start working on is the area of blue here and working our way down into this part and then this part. So obviously this has just been blocked in very roughly. There's not a lot, you know, really going on in that. Not a lot certainly to suggest that it is water. So what I'm going to do first of all is, as always with this sort of thing, I add the darks and then I add the lights. You've just got to be careful that you don't go too overboard adding the darks because you still, this middle tone here, which is what it's been blocked in as, you still need to be able to see some of that through. So we add darks where we can see the darks, we leave the block in as the mid-tones and then we add lights where we see the lights. So working on this bit here first of all. So I've been using, and I'm going to continue to use just for a little while, this is the Coma brush, the Series 5 size 3.8. It's available from a website. Link is that side. Link is up there or in the description below. Okay, so what I'm going to do, add some, or mix up some darker blues now, probably mixed in with some of this sort of greeny colour here, just to lower the levels a little bit. So as you can see there, that's a darker colour. Using the comb brush, just sort of dragging, just using the very end of the brush, the very tip of the brush, just dragging along just the surface, and that's giving us really small little lines. So I'm not going to come down into this area yet. I'm going to get this bit completed. So I've added the dark blues. Now I'm going to go back to the sort of more green colour that you can see the reflections there of the trees. I'm going to pull some of that in over the top there. I think the key is what we don't really want is for this area of blue, this area of reflection, to look like just a solid mass of blue to be broken up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to add just a few rocks in here as well. So I'm moving over now to the Series 1, size 0. This is the rigger brush, going in with a darker colour. So we're doing the dark areas of rock first of all, and then we'll add some lighter tones where we see them. Just continue with this for the time being, adjusting the shape and size of each rock. We certainly don't want them to be too uniform, otherwise they're just not going to look realistic. Okay, 
give that brush clean. I'm going to continue to use the same brush, but now just add any of the lighter colours. We've got a little hint of the rocks in there now. I'm just going to add a few more lighter flecks of blue, and then we can actually start moving over to the fun bit, which is going to be this area of water here. In fact, probably the coma brush would be the, the best brush for this. Series 7 size 8 and I'm going to try to sort of even out this colour here a little bit just by doing some little horizontal ripple marks. I'm going to go over this whole area here with this technique. So now I've darkened it, I'm going to start adding some lighter areas into the water here. So I'm back to a rigger brush again. So now I'm going to try and merge this shadow in with some more of the water so I'm going to bring some of the uh, reflection of the trees into this area and then some of the reflection of the sky into this area but before I do that let's just add a few darker little spots in here
So there you go. That is the water finished. There's a couple of little bits still left to do on the painting, but we are almost there. Um, anyway, so hopefully you've learned something uh, with that video and you can apply some of those techniques to your own paintings. Um, all of the brushes used and the panel used in this are available from my website shopmichaeljamesmith.com. Um, also, if you haven't checked it out, check out my online painting school. There's loads of lessons there, more being added monthly. Um, in fact, we're going to do a whole new section of content on there, which we're really excited about. So go and check that out. Subscribe if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up. That always helps. And please comment. I'd love to read all of your comments. So hopefully we'll see you soon in the next video. Take care, everybody, and happy painting.